Hey guys, it's Lena, and I'm back with another video, because I felt like it, and yeah. So, today's video thingy is types of Tumblr blogs, and I wanted to make this because I've noticed that the types of Tumblr blogs that are out there vary, like, a lot. So, <laughs> I decided to cover a couple that I think are the main ones, and this isn't meant to offend anybody, this isn't directed at anyone. This is just for fun. This is just a video that I felt like making. Don't hate on me if I say something offensive because I honestly don't mean anything offensive. This is just, yeah, it's just for fun, I swear. Okay, now that that's been covered and stuff, uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first type of blog that I thought of was a personal blog. And these are the types of people that reblog anything that, you know, interests them, and it doesn't really matter, like, how different they are. Like, for example, someone could start off by reblogging something with Supernatural, and followed it up by One Direction, or anime, or anything really that they like, they will reblog and post. And I think personal blogs are really cool, because, like, you get to kind of see what people are into and stuff, and these people are generally harmless and sweet, and they don't, you don't, really hear much about them, but, I mean, there's, their blogs are still cool and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's personal blogs. The second type of blog is a depression blog, and beware, if you go on these, these people, the people that run these are just trying to get at their feelings, so they might post some triggers, so if you get triggered really easily, do not go on depression blogs, or you might, I don't know, you, like, don't look at all the stuff and don't search up trigger either because that is a tag that will have triggers in it and I don't want anybody to get, like, hurt or anything. Um, and these blogs are usually really helpful when you message them, though. If you look, if you're looking for, like, advice or help or something, then they'll usually be, like, really nice and help you and stuff. Yeah, they're pretty cool. The third type is teen blogs, and I just, I didn't know what else to call it, so I called it teen blog. Uh, these are the types of blogs that bl reblog and post more teen-related things, like just girly things pictures or, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, sometimes they tend to make their own if it's like a, an actual blog on Tumblr meant for that kind of thing, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, some of these blogs don't interact with their followers as much, but some of them do, and some of them like giving out things such as blog rates. I mean, any blog could do a blog rate, but I mean, some teen ones like to do that in my hair. It's really... Alright. Yeah, that looks really bad. It looks like it's... Anyway, uh, yeah. That, that's what teen blogs would be. So the next type of blog is an anime blog. So they basically post GIFs, pictures, videos, clips, edits, fan art, or whatever they want of animes. They spend their time reblogging things to do with the animes. I don't know, all that kind of stuff. They spend their time watching the animes. Um, these types of blogs may post about one specific anime, like Hitalia or Attack on Titan or whatever, or they might post about a bunch of them. I mean, it really depends if they like a bunch of them or if they just want their blog to be one or a bunch. Um, yeah, and they they tend to be very nice. They usually end up drawing a lot of fan art, <laughs> but but I, I like the, to see the fan art. Even if I'm not in the fandom, I really like seeing the fan art that people anyway, anywhere create, no matter even if I'm in the fandom, if I'm not, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that would be an anime blog. Okay, the next type of blog is the type of blog that I am, and it's a YouTuber blog. So that's where I mainly fit in, you know. I run a blog called Hail Marom. Follow me on Tumblr. Um, yeah, so uh, these people, these wonderful blogs, post and reblog anything to do with YouTubers they watch. Even if their blog only seems to be about one person, it can actually be about several. Like. It's it's pretty rare to find a Troy blog without seeing some Tyler Oakley somewhere on there, unless they don't ship Troiler. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and it's hard to imagine a Bayesian Canadian blog without some members of Team Crafted. Especially Jerome, because there are a lot of Marum shippers out there. Uh, 
they're they're usually like the type of blog that are really nice and stuff like that, but they can get hated on just for their opinion, like on a ship or something. I mean, that's kind of the same with like any fandom, but it seems like the YouTube fandom seems to get a lot more of that kind of crap. Uh, and a good example of that would be, you know, some people ship Marome. I mentioned Jerome really hardcore, and some people, they, those people, they, they don't like when people ship Mitch and Ashley because they think, ah, oh, Jerome is all made for Mitch and stuff like that. So then they start hating on Mashley shippers, and they go as far as hating on Ashley herself even though she has no idea what is happening. Because she's just friends with Mitch. Um, but yeah, so... Don't get the bloggers mad. Don't get these types mad because they know how to fight for what they love. And I know a lot of blogs are like that, but YouTuber blogs are, you know, pretty good at that. I mean, if, if you're a YouTuber blog, you feel me, right? Right? I, I hope so. And the last type I have to talk about would be banned blogs. They're pretty similar to the YouTube ones in the sense that they'll fight for what they love, you know, if like, I don't know. Like, an example would be, like, Mariana's Trench of One Direction fans. Because they're known for publicly standing up to people, like, face-to-face -face if they get, if their band gets insulted or their YouTubers get insulted. Although these One Direction fans are not YouTubers. But you get the point. Um, like, I, there's always a lot of Directioners that, since I'm the One Direction fan, I happen to see some Directioners that are always like, Oh yeah, well, this guy at my school insulted One Direction, and I did this, and I told him off, and stuff like that. So they're pretty much known for that. Um, anyway, uh, these blogs you tend to reblog anything with the bands they like. And the most common band blogs I happen to see are the ones that Pierce the Veil, or Sleeping with Sirens, or Bring Me the Horizon, or All Time Low, or those kinds of bands. But there are also other bands that have, or like other band blogs. So like Mariana's Trench, Fall Love Boy, 21 Pilots, Five Seconds of Summer, One Direction, you know, those kinds. Um, but mo most of the fans are usually nice and calm, aside from those crazy obsessed fans. You don't want to get on their bad side, let me just say that. Okay, so that was my review of the types of blogs that I think are mainly on Tumblr. There are probably a crap load that I missed, and yeah, so if you can think of any other blogs that, like, types of blogs that I missed, and be sure to comment them down below, and, you know, just let me know. Maybe I can make a part two to this if I get enough comments telling me types of Tumblr blogs that I missed or if I start thinking of more. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like if you want. And um, you can subscribe. My subscribe button is always there. Right there. There. I don't actually know which side this is going to be on. So it's one of these sides down there. And you can subscribe. And I, you can watch me make more videos and be weird and be me and get annoyed with my hair constantly. And by the way, my hair isn't always straight, okay? It's curly, but it's straight right now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I will see you all, all in the next video. Bye!